How long have you been in the workforce? Three years. How many jobs have you had before? Wait, I have to count. <laughs> This is my fourth job since uh, graduating. 定性不够，一年换二十四个老板，缺乏专注力，工作起来又很随性。这是很多主管对 Z 世代员工的评价。根据美国招聘公司的调查，甚至有将近四分之三的经理人或是商业领袖表示，这些九年级生是最难共事的一个时代。It can feel、um, like they are challenging you or they are challenging your views, and it is up to us to really try to define it better for them. Does it get frustrating for your managers? Sometimes it does get a little bit frustrating because it does、uh, slow down a bit of efficiency. But these young people have some words to say. I don't think any of us want to work 100 hours a week to have no piece of the pie, to work for someone you don't respect, to do something that you don't believe in. And I think for a long time that's how we were told the world had to work. And I think a lot of folks are saying no. Maybe the world can work radically differently. And I think that's a good thing. 担任三十五年人力资源顾问的迪亚兹就笑说，这样的世代冲突其实不是新鲜事。当年千禧世代进入职场，同样闹得不可开交，只是需要更多的磨合，还有理解。The new generation, of course, has access to information faster than anybody else has ever had in the past, especially after COVID. The idea of working from home has become more. Instituted in, in how they think, but the reality is that they really like learning. They like to have new experiences. They're really not settled in any one profession, in any one industry. So that's what makes them very hard. That they're motivated in different ways. 人力资源顾问强调 ，Z 世代在职场上难相处，其实是很多背景因素造成。他们出社会时碰上疫情，房价高涨，还有史上最严重的通膨，大量的冲击考验着这些懵懵懂懂的社会新鲜人。This group of Gen Zs, they're the COVID. Remote work, so they didn't even have an opportunity to relate to people at all in a workplace. We're thrown into an environment that people who do have that experience are still struggling with. Yes, they have technical skills because they grew up holding computers in their hands, right? But those skills did not apply to the workplace. 在这样的时代背景下 ，Z 世代跟我们想的不一样，不再只是有钱能使鬼推磨。Folks need to know why they're at the office every day. Like, why are you they you, they working so hard? What is it for? Right? How do they benefit if you get that goal? Making those things clear instead of just being like, oh, you signed up for this job, just work your ass off, have no transparency to what our larger goals are, and have no purpose that binds us together. No, give me a why, give me a how, give me a when. 而且看似漫不经心的 Z 世代，其实半数都有焦虑的问题，只是他们所关心的比我们想的更远。他们比任何一个世代都在意社会责任或是气候变迁等议题。Forty-four percent of Gen Zs would, you know, want to work for rules that are actually positively contributing to the world, versus millennials, which is a much, much lower number at thirty-seven percent. And they want to define a better future for themselves and address key issues, whether that's environmental, employment. Racial, gender—they're—they're you know, they're looking at their future and they want to be drivers of, of meaningful change. And I think that is challenging for for businesses and brands. 由于目前全世界有超过三分之一的劳动人力都是属于 Z 世代，职场势必得因此调整转换。专家就给主管一些建议：多给这些新时代学习的机会，给予他们挑战，让他们有不同的体验。这些九年级生独特的思考方式，就能让人感到惊艳。纽约新闻综合报道。They spend more and more time. 想看最完整的新闻内容，记得下载 TVBS 新闻网 APP。